<coughs> Good evening and welcome to the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Thank you, Admiral Lass, for your kind introduction. And to all of you who have come this evening to celebrate the historic relationship between Bahrain and the United States. Through both good and challenging times, mm -hmm. the American Bahraini Friendship Society has served as a meeting place where we can reflect on our shared interests and our common experiences. We are also here this evening to honor the service of our good friend, Admiral Mark Fox. I had the pleasure to get to know the Admiral during his tenure as the commander of the US Navy's Fifth Fleet. Admiral Fox served his country with the utmost integrity and built upon the foundation of cooperation between Bahrain and the United States since the Navy first arrived in 1948. I am grateful that he remains a valued friend to the people of Bahrain. Thank you. How many passed admirals do we have here tonight? <laughs> no, seriously. Five, six? One, two, three, four. Wow, it's a big number. Of well, thank you all so much for coming here. There is no doubt that we have had many challenges left to face. Despite ha this, however, sorry, I'm missing a page. <laughs> <laughs> I should have checked this because I'm missing a page. Okay, I'm going to have to go on with this. Okay, basically, I've just, I'll tell you what the other page said that I'm missing. <laughs> I just came back from Bahrain yesterday. I was there for three weeks, and um, the time I spent in Bahrain, you can see that there are still things, there's, there's violence basically every night, that things are getting better, people are getting back to work, people are going out and enjoying themselves, and people have start, just started taking things into their own hands and doing what it, just carrying on with life. They're not just sitting at home and not going out. So I think that's very, very important. Um, so there are, many, uh, there are still many challenges left for us to face. And despite this, however, I am confident that the government's sustained commitment to resolving our issues will yield the breakthroughs we have been working through on a continuous basis. During my trip home, I was particularly heartened at, at the initial progress His Royal Highness the Crown Prince has been making in his new role as the first Deputy Prime Minister. Over the past two months, His Royal Highness has been visiting government ministries and meeting with employees at, of all ranks to discuss ways in which government operations can be made more efficient. I know there is a great deal of international interest in what this appointment means for the political situation in Bahrain. And based on the work accomplished thus far, I am confident that His Royal Highness will continue to be successful in informing government to be more representative and responsive to all needs of all Bahrainis. Although we have made some important progress, I don't think it will come as a great surprise to those in this room that we have much more work to do. This work is made exp exponentially more difficult by an opposition that refuses to engage in meaningful, substantive dialogue and foreign adver adversaries intent on, stroki on stoking instability in Bahrain for their own benefit. The Bahraini government understands that revolving that resolving our internal differences requires that we come to an accommodation with the political opposition. Even though the political morality on women's rights, personal freedom and religious liberty contradict the pluralistic, progressive society that Bahraini government has worked hard to build, at many points over the past two years, the government has worked hard to bring them into an inclusive dialogue with the, ma with the mandate to make expansive reforms to the Bahraini political system. After repeatedly rejecting this, this initiative, the political opposition finally accepted the government's invitation to dialogue this February. Since that time, they have bogged down discussions on procedural matters and impeded progress on real reform. Last week, the main opposition political society, al Wifaq suspended its participation in the dialogue for two weeks. We have a lot of work left to do, but it requires serious people to make painful choices. The government is prepared to do so. We are waiting for the opposition to reciprocate. We face threats from abroad. Just last week, an Iranian drone illegally entered Bahraini airspace. This is just the latest incident in Iran's long history of interfering in Bahrain's domestic affairs. We, like our allies in the United States, are deeply concerned about Iran's nuclear ambitions and the consequences of their, political success, of their potential success. We are committed to working with our American allies to ensure the standoff over, bah over Iran's nuclear program is resolved as peacefully as possible. Despite the challenges we continue to face, I remain op optimistic that Bahrain's best days are ahead of it. 
We are grateful for your continued friendship, and I look forward to working with you now and into the future. Thank you so much. This is condensed from 45 minutes. <laughs>